Yeah, this hive's been here for over a year. But the thing with these, we had the consecutive years of flood, so there wasn't a lot of flower and pollen. They kind of had a slow start. Yeah, and that dry weather has just allowed them to kind of build up their numbers and get a lot stronger anyway. So we had a chance to harvest a little bit of the honey last week, which is good. Just take a little bit, make sure they've got enough. Uh, and the thing is too, you always want to make sure they've got enough going into winter. You can see in this little window, they got honey building up. They're doing really well. It's, yeah, it's an interesting learning process, but um, yeah, it never gets old. <laughs> and it's fun just watching it. I just like looking in the garden and seeing the bees and the flowers and knowing that they're, they're a part of the process. They're pollinating and they're collecting a little bit of nectar and pollen here and there. And yeah, that's the main thing. They're a part of the process. And beekeeping kind of just accentuates that. Like just you get to slowly understand a bit more of what role they play in the environment. And that's cool. And you get a little bit of sweet honey every now and again. <laughs> they're going, they're doing well. I like it when they're doing well. Yeah, if, yeah, if you're asking me what my motivation would be, it's, yeah, it's a personal journey, 100% for me. It's, I've never wanted anything there's no kind of accolade or any pinnacle thing. I don't really, you know, I've never aspired to like get a crazy wave at Pipeline or anything that some people might want. That's never really been my, my goal. It's just to probably be more so in the moment, enjoy the journey, enjoy the smaller things and the smaller steps. Um, they're, they're a value to me. So, it's the whole process that's of value and that keeps me kind of motivated. Every day is different. So it's always changing. And sometimes now I look at it quite similar to things like prospecting for the gems and minerals or, you know, fishing or something. You put in the time, you use your own educated guess to get to a certain point and try and put yourself in the best place to achieve to get what you want out of that. It's, it's all quite similar when I look back on it.
Dad was always into rocks. He'd, yeah, since I can remember, he was always into rocks. And besides collecting rocks, he used to work in mines and he used to know a few people that cut roads uh, for the logging trails back in the day. So he got wind of a few little spots where he could find rocks in his own time. So he, he spent a lot, a lot of time with him and his friends doing that and then we always seen what he'd bring back and he'd share it with us, share us stories, would be able to give them to our friends and that was pretty much the gateway for my, for my brother and I to be interested in rocks. People will ask like what's that worth <laughs> like, to me? Uh, money, it has no monetary value at all, it's more about a memory. I can't believe it, I cannot believe it. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is. I remember where I was when I found it. Um, and I can share it with someone. So, you know, a market value is nothing. It really has no place in my scope of interest in rocks at all. I just, I just love looking at them. <laughs> I'm just loving looking at it right now in the sun, just out of interest, actually. It's been sitting in the shade for a while, this one, so it's got a little bit of sun. <laughs> well, we always have. It's like, off grid was never a thing. That's just a, a, a term that's kind of loosely thrown around these days. But for us, we have always been off grid. Um, in saying that, like through my childhood and through the way that we live and um, manage our our place in the bush, I guess you could call it off grid because it's not on a grid and it's away from uh, modern amenities. But in the same time, we've kind of taking the time and energy to making it livable and comfortable and having a few mod cons. Like now we've got solar, we've got a fridge, never had a fridge growing up, lived under candlelight, we've got lights, uh, we've got carpet on the floors, we've never had carpet on the floors. <laughs> so it's just little things, but bit by bit, it just makes life a little bit easier. But yeah, it's, it's about, for me, it's all about having a home, having a place I can share, and having a place where I can grow fruit trees and edible things and things that are useful, and make use of that space and manage it and watch what's going on, try and work with the land, not against it. It's a good fish. Bad. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Yeah, got him. It just, it, he swallowed it, he's got a massive mouth, he just inhaled that thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I actually remember probably in my early to mid 20s, I, I said to myself, if I can make it to 30 doing what I love, I'll die a happy man. Um, and I do distinctly remember that time saying that to myself. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting now I'm going into my 40s. I'm into my 40s and uh, I'm still doing what I love. So it's, it's pretty interesting to reflect back on that. And at the same time, extremely grateful that I'm able to do that through a, a myriad of different factors. But uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty wild to reflect back on that statement and look where I'm at now. <laughs> uh, I felt like at that period of time I've lived a decent life and I'd had so many like beautiful moments 
just in my own uh, surfing time, just experiencing nice uncrowded waves or having a, a few standout sessions where it was quite satisfying and rewarding. It was like, all right, this is it. <laughs> I've kind of done a few, a few things that I'd uh, always wanted to and kind of ticked that off the list. <laughs> um, oh, look, it's a, yeah, it's an interesting one, like to see how far, <laughs> to see how far this will actually go. Um, yeah, it's almost comical in a respect because you know, I, I, to be honest, I never thought that uh, it would be where it is now. But at the same time, yeah, extremely grateful in it. I, yeah, it doesn't feel old. It, it feels everything just feels new, and you know, my my body's not letting me down. I I feel you know flexible and kind of healthy and surf fit, and and I'm just as keen to surf now as I've ever been. Like I I love it. Like it's just something that never really leaves you. So you know, like if I'm getting paid for it or not, it doesn't actually change a single thing. It wouldn't change a thing. I'd still do it for the same reasons. And um, yeah, it's just, yeah, it never gets old. <laughs>